first full day in England. This, my friends, is a night lock. On day one, it was my nemesis. How the hell does this thing work? So I was at this door for about 15 minutes before finally saying F it and just waiting on my host to finish with her prayers so she could let me out. I made it out. Let's explore the neighborhood. Dog. Double parking out here is far worse than double parking in New York City. Like, look at the size of these lanes. People are double parked. Like, they don't even have a full lane to drive through over here. That's insane. I could never drive out here. Just so in love with everything about the scenery. So I found this random little cafe. It's supposed to be good, so let us see. I think cafe. So once I finished my lovely English breakfast, um, I knew I needed to stop and get some water before I hop back on the bus um, back to my Airbnb. I had to work later on that day and you know I need to stay hydrated and I didn't have anything else to drink so I go to places that were nearby um, like within walking distance and I think I went to a Tesco Express which I was like mad excited about um, because in some of the vlogs that I watch like the UK vlogs um, people that live in the UK I saw them shopping at Tesco not the Express just a regular Tesco and it just seems like a dope grocery store so I was so happy to have my first experience going to a grocery store in London do not have them in this size in New York or anywhere in the States actually. 